What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today's video, we're actually going to show a creative funk pattern. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get creative with it. You already know what day it is, it's Tutorial Thursdays. Welcome to A Percussion Life, my name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just had to welcome you to the channel and I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload videos that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the kind messages, the comments, sharing the videos, seriously, everything that you do to get this channel going and rolling and growing. Seriously, I cannot thank you guys enough. So for today's video, I wanted to show a very creative funk pattern that you could really use on three drums. It's better on three drums just because it adds a little bit more melody to it and as well some form of difficulty when it comes to your non-dominant hand or weaker hand but I really love this pattern especially when it fits well with you know like a certain slower funk or something where it's not as busy but yeah let me show it to you first. Again, you can get creative with it, but you gotta love it. But in all seriousness, I love this funk pattern because it just adds a different element to funk and getting you away from just the basic funk patterns that we all know and love. But if you notice, there's a lot of ghosting and a lot of melody going on. So it's gonna be a little bit, but we gotta break this thing down. So I start this funk pattern with an open with my dominant hand to the tumba to my dominant side, then a ghost note fingertip tap with my non-dominant hand on the conga. Then I'm gonna be coming back here and doing an open with my dominant hand on the conga. Then with my non-dominant hand, I'm gonna kind of rest my hand. It's gonna do like a subtle bass, but not really. And then a close slap with my dominant hand on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. Something that you can do as well to kind of change the dynamic is actually in this beginning part, rather than doing that ghost note with your non-dominant hand on the conga, replace it with an open. So to kind of show you that, versus, Two very different feelings, but they can make a difference if you want to add dynamic rather than just doing that first part. Now for all the secret sauces and all the spices. This is my favorite part. So what you're gonna do is after doing that close slap, you're going to do a ghost note with your non-dominant hand on the conga, a ghost note with your dominant hand on the conga. Then you're going to do an open with your non-dominant hand to your tumba, to your non-dominant side, and then another ghost note with your dominant hand on the conga. Then two opens with your non-dominant hand to the tumba to your non-dominant side, and then one open on the conga with your dominant hand. I know it's a lot, but let me show you. Now, 
Now to put everything together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. It's kind of crazy how those ghost notes really help move this pattern along and add some extra spice to this groove. Now to finish this pattern, this is what's gonna connect everything to go back to the beginning, but as well adds a little bit more accent and feel to this funk pattern. After doing that open, since your non-dominant hand has to come back here, what you're going to do is going to be like a bass finger and then a close slap. So a bass finger with your non-dominant hand, close slap with your dominant hand and then a finger tip tap or another finger or ghost note which is what's going to help you start the pattern all over again which is that open to your dominant side so it's going to sound like this now to put the whole pattern together finishing off with the tumba it's going to sound like this Crazy, man. It's a lot of feel involved in that funk pattern. But yeah, let me play it all the way through. I love funk. I don't know what it is. I love it. I love it. I love those type of grooves. And if you notice, I was switching on and off with adding that additional open that I showed in the beginning. And again, if you hear it very well, it really changes the dynamic of the whole groove. Just adding and replacing that ghost note and adding it with an open. It's crazy. Now to count it slowly for you guys, it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two. But all right, y'all, really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take your time, practice it, man. Listen to some funk and add that pattern. Man, it's gonna, it's gonna change your life. It's gonna do something. But again, make it your own. Maybe creative, be creative yourself and add maybe some close slaps or some muffs or whatever part of your style. Incorporate into this one and see where it goes. But all right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.